Hi friend and welcome back to Marvelous Friends, your home for all things Marvel Cinematic Universe and beyond. I'm Rhett and today I have a new unboxing for you guys. Roll that credit. As it says in the title today, I am unboxing Loot Crate's Marvel Gear and Goods Loot Crate Box. Well, that's a mouthful. Now, this is actually the November 2019 box, and I did not receive this box until I think it was very end of January, beginning of February. Now, I am filming this much later. The only reason I know that this is the holiday box is because I know it's the November box, because I haven't received any of the other boxes I was supposed to. Um, I have not received the February box at this time. I have not received, or the January box, excuse me, that comes in February, and they have no intention at this point. It's been pushed back already to send out the March boxes, which is understandable considering everything going on. However, Loot Crate is having a lot of problems outside of everything that's going on. So just as a little tangent really quick, um, this is not a paid sponsorship or anything like that. I bought this box with my own money, so I have no issue saying this. Loot Crate is on the out and out, if I have to say. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to survive all of this business closure that's going on right now. Um, as it turns out, I've done some research as to why it was taking so long to do these boxes and get these boxes. I had signed up for regular Loot Crate for several months before I had did the Marvel Gear and Goods specific one. Um, I had Loot Crate long ago when they first uh, opened up and started doing these boxes. I really liked it. Over time, I was like, yeah, I'm going to stop. And then when I started doing this channel, I decided, hey, I should do those boxes. And so I signed up last year in the middle of the summer, um, had it for four months and never received a box. Um, so finally I had enough. Um, I said, I'm going to cancel this. I don't want it. Please um, refund me for all the boxes you haven't sent, which was four of them at that point. Um, and they were getting ready to charge me for a fifth box. Um, about three months into that, I had for some reason decided to go ahead and add the Marvel Gears and Good one specifically for the Marvel channel. Um, but since then, um, I just canceled that one as well. Uh, because as I've done research, like I said, they actually had filed for bankruptcy. They've had some issues with their supply chain. They've had issues with their factory where they assemble the boxes and put them together. They're very backlogged. Um, so if you have not already, um, I hate saying this because it is kind of mean uh, for companies who are nowhere struggling right now, but I would probably cancel. Um, and I would definitely reach out to them if you are backlogged boxes and request refunds. Um, they were very quick to refund the boxes they had not sent out. They seem to understand, um, which means probably I'm not the only one who did it. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, Loot Crate, who is, I believe, one of the original of the subscription box format things, um, just spread themselves too thin with all the different types of boxes, all the specialty boxes they do. I really think that was their issue and their subscriber numbers outweighed what their capacity was and they never limited that. Um, so that was probably my best guess on why they ultimately had to file for bankruptcy. That being said, I have the November box here to open for you guys. I still have not asked for refunds for the January and March boxes that will be sent, but I will not be receiving any more after these three months. Um, unless something happens at Loot Crate and they fix all these issues and they promise to fix those issues, I might try them again sometime in the future. But again, since I'm buying these with my own money, I want my box when it's supposed to be here. Um, and yeah, it's just disappointing that that's happened considering they were one of the original subscription boxes. All that said, all that aside, let's jump into the actual box itself. All right, so here we go. Like I said, this is holiday themed. So I am wearing the holiday sweater I got from the Collector's Corpse um, from Funko box, um, which was Infinity Stone Thanos Christmas, if I remember correctly, basically, uh, more or less. It was Infinity Saga Christmas. So this is a Infinity shirt. Well, you saw it if you saw that video. Um, but yeah, let's open this up. A little sneak peek for all of you. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see what we got. The first item on top of the box is the t-shirt. And I don't, oh well. I'm not a big fan of the design um, or the shirt. 
Um, if I remember correctly, back from when I originally subscribed to Funko, their shirts weren't ne necessarily bleh, uh, my favorite. I'm not a big fan of the big, crunchy, solid print on the front. A, they don't hold up that well when you wash them. They kind of crinkle and kind of disperse. Um, they're also really stiff to wear until they've softened up and started to break apart. I'm also not the biggest Hulk person. Um, so I don't know. I don't necessarily like this one. I may not keep it. I may not, or at least not wear it for most things. Maybe I'll hold on to it in case I have a Hulk video that I'm doing specifically. But yeah, I'm just not a, the biggest fan of the shirt. And honestly, the shirt isn't like a super soft, nice material either. Like this one. Um, so I don't know. So far, no. Next thing they have is just a little card that says, thanks for being a looter. If you have any questions, QR code to scan. Nothing really here. It doesn't say that there's anything. I guess they do a digital card now. They usually, you're used to at least, and a lot of places have like a little card insert and something that lists everything out and what it is. But this says, if you want more information about the gear you just unboxed, scan the QR, the QR code and go to their website, which I think is a little bit lazy. <laughs> that they did that. Um, I like the little sheets. It shows that they're putting some effort in and stuff like that. I get also though that at the same time, well, it's not more green because they're still printing something. They're still making a print that they're putting in on paper. Um, it would be different if it was like on the box or something like that. Um, so this doesn't, this just makes no sense to me. I'm not a big fan of that, that they're doing this if this is in fact the inventory card, but I'm guessing it is because I don't see one in the box. Next we have, and I'm starting to get the idea that maybe the theme was Versus, because um, we have a combat pin. So this is Hughes the Crinkle. Two pins, um, which is, I guess, a really good get. Um, you get two very large pins. There is a close-up for you of Iron Man versus Ultron. Both of them are double back pins. Um, it, on the back says it is a Marvel Gear and Goods exclusive. Um, very nice, solid enamel, printed. Um, it's really cool. It's a really big one. Um, I know I mentioned my lanyard and backpack that I have. This is honestly too big to put on that. Um, so I would not probably be adding that to that collection, but I will hold on to it. It's a really cool pin. Um, it's a shame it's so huge, but the design is cool. Um, yeah, the design is neat. I'm neutral about it, okay? I, if you haven't told, I feel a little neutral. Anyways, moving on. Next, we have a Hell's Kitchen Daredevil-themed deck of cards. Excuse the crinkle as I open this up as well. It has a nice, quick open, though. So that's nice. Just because I want to look at what the cards look like themselves, because that's the important thing about playing cards, is how cool the actual cards look on their face. So the Joker, it looks like a half and half bullseye and daredevil. And then diamonds are donated, are donated, are um, dedicated to Electra. The aces are dedicated to Kingpin. The hearts to daredevil himself. And then the spades are bullseye as well. So that's kind of cool that each of them feature a different character from the universe and that are kind of color coded. Electra and Daredevil are the red suits, Bullseye and Kingpin are the black suits. Um, so that's really nice. I like the um, the background. It has kind of like this, I think you might have been able, sorry, wrong side, um, seen it in there. You can't, I don't know. It has like a little splatter paint texture to the back of it. It's a, it's a nice solid deck of cards. Um, great feel. Um, not super big. They're kind of on the smaller side, I think, for playing cards compared to that to the traditional bicycle deck. As far as like the size, I think a bicycle deck is like there, but I could be wrong. So a little bit smaller too, but overall, very nice deck of cards. This is a Dolt collectible, not a toy, which means it's definitely a toy. Um, <laughs> okay. Interesting combo in the versus theme because I'm again pretty sure that's what we got here. Um, I okay, are these yeah, okay, so 
So they are Black Panther and the Claw Salt and Pepper Shakers. Um, the only thing I have to say is usually on top, the salt and the pepper are denoted based upon the number of holes they have. Um, and they have the same number of holes, which means you're going to get a lot of salt if you actually use these. I'll probably hold on to these more for just like decor items, not actually use them as salt and pepper shakers. But they do open up and are used uh, more for that purpose if you like them. But like I said, just be careful whichever one you put the salt in. Um, it has, each of these have nine holes on the top and they're the same size. So that's a lot of salt pouring out. But very cool, something a little bit different because they are not necessarily just figurines or something more than that, but I'll probably just use them as figurines. The last item in here is a scarf, which does fall within the idea that this is a November box. Um, and here it is, it's the same design on both sides of the scarf. Very Loki-esque, if I had to make my guess. Um, so I'm guessing this is supposed to be like Norse, no Loki versus Thor kind of idea here. Um, it's a nice scarf, a little bit flexible, um, a tight knit, very soft. Um, get the little tangle. It's a nice, nice scarf. I think this is actually really usable, really cool. It doesn't stream Marvel, which is kind of nice when you're wearing this stuff out. Um, you don't always want to be like, oh, I'm wearing a Marvel themed thing. So it just looks a little bit more um, in its design, which is really, really cool. Um, I like the design of the, the dragon. Or maybe it's, I, I'm not really sure who this is. Um, I wish they had a inventory card in here so I could know a little bit more about what this specifically is, but it is a really cool design either way. Um, so that's a really nice get. That's it for this box though. I will have to say my favorite item in this box was the playing cards. The playing deck of cards, I know it's kind of simple and boring, but I really enjoy cards. I have kind of a, I won't say collection, but I have quite a few decks. I think they're really cool. I like how they look, especially when they have cool backs and stuff like that. This doesn't necessarily have a really cool backing to the cards, but the face of the cards are really neat. I also really enjoyed the scarf as well. Probably my second favorite item in the box. I would love to know what you liked for this box. And also I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are on Loot Crate right now. If you guys are having the same issues that I was having, um, do you still subscribe to Loot Crate? If you did, let me know down in the comments below on all that. If you like this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe and set the alerts to get all of my future videos as well. That being said, that's gonna do it for today. I hope you are all having a marvelous rest of your day. Bye friend.